Hello there, Ray here. I'm joined by Grandma Mommy. I'll trade you emeralds for, for that book. Are you, are, you sure, are you sure you don't got cookies there, Grandma? No, no, no. Not today. I'm a, I'm a villager. And we're going to show you a really cool trick which you can do with villagers to get infinite amounts of emeralds with only a single item. So to get set up, what you'll want to have is one villager. So a villager you want to have contained. And then you want to make it so that he becomes a librarian. So to do that, he just has to think he can walk over to one of these lecterns. And using some trap doors, mobs think they can walk through it. And therefore, he thinks he can access these workstations. So now that he is a librarian, we go ahead and we can check his trades. And you want a librarian that has bookshelves for sale, the first set of trades here. So this guy doesn't. So what you want to do is remove his workstation so that he loses his profession. And then you can reset it. And that way, he'll gain it again as well as new trades. So now he lost his profession, we'll give him a new workstation and he'll find it. There he goes. And now you can see his trades changed up and now we have access to the bookshelves. Now what you want to do is increase the librarian's expertise, which is this bar up here, until he has, until he reaches the next level of profession. So we go ahead and just purchase some books. So doing any of these trades will eventually fill this bar and now he's able to move on to the next level of his profession. So if we leave his trade, Let's see little regeneration particles and we go ahead and trade them. Now you can see he has access to the second one. Now you can see he's an apprentice and he got some more trades. So the second group of trades, you want him to have a book trade. And you only have a book trade at this level here and only have a bookshelf trade at this level here. So once a villager has been traded with, he won't lose his profession anymore, which is handy in some cases. But now we can't actually get him to get new trades. So we'll need to use a, another villager. So we trade up the villager until he is ready to get a new level. Now he has updated. And now you can see his next trade is a book trade. This is exactly what you want. You want bookshelves here and a book trade here. So notice he is selling you a bookshelf for nine emeralds and he's buying four books for one emerald. Now we want to get these prices down as low as possible. So to do that, we will go ahead and we will actually turn him into a zombie and then convert him back into a villager. Because when you do this to the villagers, they will then see you as kind of helping them and they'll actually lower their prices for helping you convert them from a zombie villager into a villager. And they did change it so that now villagers will actually keep their trades even if they get turned into a zombie and back into a villager. So notice these trades right now will have the same type of trades here, but they'll be different prices. So let's go ahead and put the zombie in with this villager. Now in a hard difficulty, there's a 100% chance that the villager will be converted over into a zombie villager. Something like normal mode, there's like a 50% chance and like easy mode, it's like impossible for him to get converted, but they will die. So make sure you pay attention and do this like in a hard mode if you have 100% chance of them not dying. And there you see the villager got converted over into a villager zombie. Now we go ahead and remove the zombie. And we can secure our villager once again. Now we can go ahead and cure him. So we give him a weakness potion as well as a golden apple. And now he will be in the conversion stage. It will take him a little while and then he'll eventually convert into a villager. The one strange thing we notice about this stage where the zombie is being converted into a villager is it's impossible for the zombie to despawn even though he is still a zombie. This could take a few minutes so we'll be right back. So the zombie villager has got converted over into this villager and if you look at him you see he sells the exact same things in the exact same order. His trades don't change but the prices can change and now that he's been helped by the player he decides to lower his prices for the player that helped him. So for me the prices are lower for grandma mommy. If she would look at this she would see that the prices were the same as before. So notice I reduced it quite a bit went from 9 all the way to 3 and from 4 all the way down to 1. Now we can go ahead and repeat this process and we can even lower these down more. So that's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and convert this guy back into a villager zombie. We'll get his prices even lower down. So now we go ahead and convert him back over again. Weakness potion and a golden apple. And now we just have to wait for him to turn back into a villager. Also notice that the little badge that they have at their waistline indicates what level of profession they are. And they keep that same level even when they're a zombie villager. So that way you can easily tell that this one has been traded by players in the past as he is more than just level one, which is the stone cutter. Now there's a couple different ways you can lower the villagers trades. Like we showed one way is to cure a zombie villager. So he likes you. Another way is to do more trades with him. 
If you do more trades, and he will lower his prices down a little bit, but they can move around depending on which trades you have traded recently and which ones you haven't. If you haven't did a trade for quite a while, then he'll decide to lower the prices. If you're doing the same trade over and over again, he'll decide to raise the prices. And another way you can also get down is by collecting Hero of the Village, which is obtained after completing a raid. You can get up to level 5 in survival, and this will reduce the prices down as well. So you can see it went from 9 down to 5, here it went from four books down to just two books. But as soon as you lose the effect, you will also lose that extra bonus you get from the villager. So notice the prices went back up again. We got nine again as well as four. So in the meantime, over here, our villager went ahead and cured himself. This is for the second time. And let's look at his prices. Wow, those are cheap. So he reduced them again, and you can see now it's all the way down to one emerald for one bookshelf, and as well as he will purchase just one book and give you one emerald. Now this is exactly what you guys want. Now we are ready to go ahead and do our trade with him. So you just need one item to get infinite amounts of emeralds from the villager. You either need one book or one emerald. So we stick one emerald in there, and we will get one bookshelf. Now we'll break down the one bookshelf, and this will turn into three books. So we take those three books, come back to the villager, and put them in there. And now we just got three emeralds. So we just turned our one emerald into three emeralds. We can go ahead and do this again. We can put one bookshelf in there, take the one bookshelf out, put it down, and break it. And we got three more books, and we can trade those three books in for three more emeralds. So you guys get the point. You can also put all your emeralds in and get all bookshelves and break them all down. And you can turn all those books into emeralds. As you can see, I just got six emeralds out of one emerald. And you can keep this up as much as you want. The only restriction you have is that the villagers have a set amount of trades before they'll have to work at their workstation to refresh them. So in Java Edition, it's around 12 to 16 trades on most items. And for the bookshelves as well as the books, they'll do 12 of each of those trades. And then after that, they'll kind of just freeze up. So you can see he has this currently crossed off. And if you try to trade this and you can see there's an X here, it says villagers restock up to two times per day. So you just need to wait a little bit later on in the day and then the villager will go ahead and work at the workstation and reset his trades so you can do some more trading with them. But with this method, it is possible to get infinite amount of emeralds at the start of only one emerald or one book. Now in the past, they tried to nerf this by reducing the number of bookshelves you could purchase from them. But even though they nerfed it, it is still possible to do it in survival and that's what Grandma, Mommy, and I have been looking into, and with some quirky reduction of their prices, it is still possible to do even in the newest 1.15.2 version of Minecraft. So like we said, it is possible to lower the prices other means, like trading with them or using the Hero of the Village effect, but it's not as nice as going ahead and doing, because both these other methods are kind of short term, as well as you don't get the prices as low as if you do that, which is long term. This is per player, so you have to make sure that you have your kind of your own little villager to work off of. Otherwise, if other people would trade this villager, the prices would look the same as something like this. So this method might be good for like early game of getting emeralds, but I think if you want to get a lot of emeralds, you should definitely build up my super simple raid farm, the Raid-O-Matic, as that thing will produce over 3,500 emeralds per hour, and it's not that difficult to build up. It only takes one villager, where this could take a couple of villagers, especially if you get one that has the wrong trades. You can also do this with other villagers. For example, I had a cleric that I cured three times and got the bottle trade down to, um, is it nine? One bottle for one emerald. Normally it's nine. And I have a witch farm, so I have tons of bottles. So it's very useful, especially on any trade that you want to essentially get lower. So even something that's expensive like this, you can just keep doing it until you can get all the way down to one. So even those really, really expensive enchanted books, you can eventually slowly get all the way down to one. Oh, also you can cure, you can do a zombie villager and the zombie in minecarts and just move the same zombie up to him every time and he'll, he'll whop on them from a minecart if they're side by side. So that makes it really easy if you want to do a, a bunch of them. Big thanks to Grandma Mommy for showing me this. It's a very useful tip and you can use it pretty much for any type of trades that you want to get really, really low. And guys, Grandma Mommy also has her own YouTube channel as well as Twitch and she does some technical stuff as well. Like you have a redstoneless iron farm there on your YouTube channel. Yes, I do. And Villager Breeder. You guys can check her out down below. I'll put the links there.
拜拜。